Are you cutting your nails the wrong way? Bad nail cutting technique can lead to an infection, but more likely will lead to just ugly looking nails. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly trim your fingernails. First, let's talk about the tools that you'll need. The first tool we're going to discuss is the compound lever clip. Dating back to the 1880s, this is the tool most everyone uses to cut their nails. Despite its popularity, the compound lever clipper is actually not the best tool for the job. These clippers quickly become dull, which means they end up crushing instead of cutting your nails. When that happens, it's effectively no different from you biting your nails. Your standard clippers also don't offer a great deal of control over how you clip your nails, so it can be tough to get precisely the angle you want. That said, if you don't have anything else on hand or you need something small, then you don't. intimidating at first glance, but don't worry, you're not going to cut your fingers. In fact, once you get used to them, these are easier to maneuver and cut the nail at the exact angle you want. Just like the standard clippers, you want to make sure that you buy a pair that's made from high carbon stainless steel to ensure the blade will stay sharp. Though this style of clipper has the advantage of precision, it comes at the price of additional size and bone. Now let's move on to nail scissors. Like the plier clippers, the nail scissors offer a great deal while clippers crush the nail from above and below, scissors cut into the nail from the side and shear along the length of the blade. This type of cutting is less traumatic to the nail. So if you've been suffering from cracked nails, you want to try nail scissors. One thing you need to focus on with the scissors though is keeping them straight up and down. You don't want to introduce the angle into the nail. Finally, let's talk about nail cutting. This is an important tool for smoothing out your nails once you're done develop a snag in between trims. You want to look for a metal triple cut file or a file made from glass. Higher quality files will have a tip you can use to clean underneath the fingernail as well. Now let's go over how to cut your nails correctly. Step one, clean your nails. You want your nails clean before cutting them to make sure you don't spread any bacteria into an accidental cut. Now you may be wondering, what about soft nails? Should I actually soak my nails in water to make them soft? The answer is no. In fact, it's better for your nails to be firm when you trim them. Soft nails are more likely to tear. A quick 20 second wash with antibacterial soap is all you need. If you have dirt underneath your nails, make sure to clean them out. You don't want the sand or dirt grinding down your clippers and scissors. Using your tool of choice, you're now gonna start to trim your nails. The one I recommend is doing one large cut horizontally across the nail, then two small cuts to round out the edges slightly. The other technique starts with two long cuts, each starting in the middle of the nail and more sharply moving in towards the edges. Then you need one final cut to get rid of the point formed in the middle. Now this second technique can create a more elongated, elegant shape, but some people can find this a little bit too feminine. In any case, you're going to want to experiment and find which technique works for you. But no matter which technique you go with, be careful not to cut your nails too short. You never want to get close to digging into the soft bed of skin on which the nail rests. That is just painful. In general, it's better to use a few longer cuts instead of trying to round out everything perfectly with a bunch of shorter cuts. And don't worry if there's a few pointed edges, we'll deal with that in the next step. Now we want to use the nail file to clean up any imperfections. Move the nail file in one direction only. Why not go back and forth? Because you're more likely to cause cracks and tears in the nail. Once you're through with all your nails, give your hands a quick rinse and you're good to go. Now you're probably wondering, can I use these same techniques on my toenails? The answer, of course you can. However, you're going to need a slightly more robust version of each tool made specifically for the tougher toenails. Also, you don't want to use the same tools on your hands and feet for hygiene purposes. Your feet are more likely to have bacterial and fungal problems and you don't want to spread them to your hands. 
Cutting your nails properly does require a few extra steps and a few extra tools. But if you follow the techniques as taught in today's video, you're going to have great looking nails every time you cut them. For more detail on how to trim your nails correctly, check out the support article over at realmenrealstyle.com.